Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to look at these following topics. Here, five topics we are going to discuss in this video from Green Trackers till the Klusiewski Volcano. So before we discuss all these five topics, first let us see today's theme. Today's theme of the day is Biodiversity and Environment. As a part of the biodiversity, so when you are reading, you have to concentrate on these areas species habitat and features that means which species is very popular for a particular habitat then their conservation status why it is in use any uniqueness attached to that particular species or that particular habitat government initiative in uh, today's video itself we are going to discuss one of the government initiative from tamil nadu regarding the uh, river dolphin and we have to check some of the images in related to animals so that they are going to give a long term memory as well so now Based on this, we will try to solve a couple of MCQs so that you will get a better understanding about how to concentrate on the area of biodiversity. So this is the question. Which of the following is not a bird? Golden mushroom, Indian night, Indian nightjar, spoonbill and white ibis. Out of this, which one is not a bird? They are asking. So if you, if you have an image, if you have an idea of the image of golden mushroom, you have you so you you can easily solve this kind of questions see here it's a fish Pisces so you can easily identify it is a not bird so so this is the best example the benefit how you know like how the benefit will be if you have a idea about image related to any bird or any animal and one more thing we will see consider the following fauna actually this question is asked in 2023 prelims lion shell macaque malabar civet sambar deer how many of the above are generally nocturnal or most active during the sunset? Except lion tail macaque, rest of the two, they are very active in the nocturnal. Now let us see their photos. It one is very act active during the daytime, diurnal. Rest of the two things, they are act very active in during the night time. So these are the nocturnal ones. Okay, so the answer is both 2 and 3. So that means two pairs are right. So what I can suggest you is, when any particular animal is in use or any particular tiger reserve or biosphere reserve in use first try to understand uh, try to look at how that animal look like and where that biosphere reserve is what is the location which part of india and try to observe some of the popular tiger reserves from north to south and south to north so which comes first so try to do this kind of uh, exercise very repetitively so your prelims question i mean answer capacity will be improved a lot now today's topics Green Crackers, Krishi 25 by 7, Project Dolphin, India Bhutan Relations, and Kusheski Volcano. First, we will discuss about Green Crackers. You know that. So, let me explain first basic overview about this Green Crackers. Before Diwali, generally, the pollution level in Delhi will be very high because during the winter season and due to stubble burning in the neighborhood state. Of course, the issue of stubble burning decreased a lot after various attempts done by the union government and state government and of course this government these respective governments help to farmers to find some alternative methods not only concentrating on the stable burning even now governments are encouraging green crackers so green crackers are obviously they emit less pollution levels and less sound and somewhat they release the water vapor so that water vapor creates a dampness in the atmosphere so that a dust will be settled very quickly in terms of green crackers of course crackers release different types of light based on the chemicals used in those crackers we will discuss about which chemicals gives at attributes which color and we will also discuss about who developed these green crackers and who certify these green crackers first supreme court extended the green firecrackers directive nationwide to tackle air pollution crisis now so so this kind of intervention from the court so tell me guys whether it is a judicial overreach or judicial activism okay out of these two which one you think okay pause this video and think which under which one this you know like this directive comes generally these directives in terms of uh, betterment of the human life in terms of improving the fundamental rights here right to life also includes right to have a clean environment so it's a part of judicial activism rather than judicial overreach actually judicial overreach is a negative concept whereas judicial activism is a positive concept green crackers are less harmful they are less dangerous 
and of course there are the crackers with reduced emissions and reduced decibel levels they produce water molecules which substantially reduces the emission levels and absorb the dust they also promises a reduction in particulate matters and they reduce 30 to 35 percentage amount of the nitrous oxide as well as the sulfur oxides compared to the traditional fireworks the green works will be 25 to 30 percentage cheaper to manufacture as well because manufacturers they don't need to change any existing facilities so the cost of manufacturing is also very less here we'll see some of the regulatory side council for scientific and industrial research csir they created these and these green crackers are designed by national environment and engineering research institute they designed them and this one manufacture them that is also you have to understand next types of green crackers here let us see some of the different types of green crackers swas safe water releaser the discharge water vapor into atmosphere which will dampen the discharge dust generally they won't contain sulfur and they will be reduce at least 30 percentage of the particular matter this is about the swas second one star safe thermite cracker that does not contain sulfur same like the previous one and now the additional one potassium nitrate they won't contain the potassium nitrate as well and they discharge less particulate matter and less noise levels as well third one suffer safe minimal aluminum here level of aluminum is very less in these type of crackers so this full forms also very important in examination point of view please have a look at these synonyms or sorry acronyms next what gives colors to the fire crackers red colors attributed by strontium salts orange calcium salts yellow sodium salts green color barium salts blue color copper salts even if you remember in your lab also in chemistry lab you might have observed that copper copper sulfate solution it is a blue color in nature purple combination of copper and strontium compounds white the burning of metals like magnesium aluminum and titanium they give white colors to firecrackers so these are the these are the chemicals which gives different colors to firecrackers so this is about topic number 1 next topic number 2 krishi 24 by 7 this is about giving information related to agriculture and agriculture related issues by using the artificial intelligence in yesterday video also we discussed about artificial intelligence how it can be misled in the form of deep fake now here this is a positive aspect of artificial intelligence recently union agriculture ministry in collaboration with the wadwani institute for artificial intelligence they developed krishi 24 by 7 this is the ai based first ai based solution for automated agriculture news monitoring and analysis so it will monitor all the different agriculture related news it will scan various articles related to agriculture it produce it gives output on those articles so that it can be used as a alert system to farmers they can prepare towards any changes in the weather phenomena or they will also prepare towards price differences and they also prepare for the reduced availability or increased availability of the fertilizers and so on and so forth with the features this tool scans news articles in multiple languages and translate them into english and offers the solution significance it will help to department of agriculture and farmers welfare to identify relevant news sending timely alerts and helps in improved decision making regarding the agriculture okay this is the topic number 2 next third topic project dolphin let's see so dolphins popularly dolphin scientific name is plant plantinista gangetica generally river water gangt uh, this uh, dolphins you can see in river you know like river ganges now let us see today's article this today's article is about tamil nadu government decided to issue an order to implement project dolphin now as an aspirant you have to understand here dolphins protection status as well as project dolphin comes under which initiative project dolphins comes under the broader project of integrated development of wildlife habitat program integrated development of wildlife habitat program so this program is all about to strengthen the marine ecology and overall health of the marine environment you know the students river dolphin is also identified as india's aquatic animal this program other focused areas are strengthening of patrolling and surveillance 
in this habitat, improving the habitat through restoration of coastal ecosystem, removing the ghost nets and encouraging the involvement of locals with incentives to protect the dolphins. Around 60 percentage of the funding in this program, which program integrated development of wildlife habitat program, 60 percent funding from union government and the rest of the funding has to bear by the state. This helps in improving the population of dolphin species and protecting their habitat. This program is going to focus mainly on nine different species of marine dolphins which are found in coastal waters of Tamil Nadu. The major habitat of the dolphins are found in Gulf of Mannar Biosphere Reserve. And tell me students, not only for dolphins, even this Gulf of Mannar is also very popular for one more aquatic animal. Put the answer in comment section. What is that one more aquatic animal? Now let us see some information regarding the uh, Gangtic River Dolphin. It is popularly known as Tiger of Ganges. Its habitat, natural habitat includes Ganges, Brahmaputra, Meghana and uh, Karnapuli, Sagu, Sangu of Nepal, India, Nepal, Bangladesh. These are the natural habitat. Ganges River Dolphin can only live in fresh water. In case and one more thing you have to understand here. It is also act as an indicator species. If the water quality improves, then the population of river dolphins also improves. So, we, it can consider as indicator species regarding the water quality in rivers. It produces ultrasonic sounds. Being a mammal, so this gangtic river dolphin, it cannot breathe in water and must surface, come to surface for every 30 to 120 seconds. When it is come to surface and uh, performing the breathing action, it, it generates certain sound that is known as susu. Susu is a sound. It is also the state aquatic animal of Assam as well along with the national aquatic animal. Let us see the conservation status regarding the river dolphin. IUCN status, status endangered comes under wildlife protection of 1972 schedule 1, sites appendix 1, CMS others name appendix 1. Okay. Tell me guys CMS stands for CMS stands for very very important okay, in terms of birds migration or species migration. CMS stands for other government initiative regarding the dolphins, Project Dolphin and Vikram Shila Gang, Ganges Dolphin Sanctuary in Bihar and National Ganga River Dolphin Day celebrating on 5th of October. These are some of the initiatives. Now, which area we are talking about? We are talking about the Gulf of Mannar Biosphere Reserve. Let us see some news regarding the Gulf of Mannar as well. It consists of various habitats. This Gulf of Manor includes three different types of habitat such as coral reefs, seagrass bed and mangrove. It is the first marine biosphere reserve in South as well as Southeast Asia. Remember, it, uh, it is also one of the biosphere reserve identified by India. Total biosphere reserves in India 18. It is also recognized as under the Man and Biosphere program of UNESCO. Man and Biosphere. It is also home to several globally important and highly threatened species such as dugong, whale shark, seahorses and some other plants and animals. Next fourth one, India Bhutan relations. Why we are discussing the India Bhutan relations? Bhutan king visit was there from uh, I mean in recent days. If you remember here, Bhutan is primarily India's neighboring country. And good relation with Bhutan is very important to India in terms of Sikkim as well as Assam and West Bengal. And one more thing students here you have to understand Bhutan's particular territory Doklam Plateau that uh, protection of the Doklam Plateau was also given responsibility to India we, regarding that you might have remember that Doklam standoff as well. Okay? Here one more thing regarding the Bhutan. Bhutan was the first country visited by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2014 after he took oath as a Prime Minister. And one more important thing is with Bhutan and Bangladesh, India, Nepal, we plan BBIN Road Network 2. Now let us see Bhutan King, Bhutan King who is an India visit. We held bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Diplomatic relation between the Bhutan and India they established in 1968. Relationship between the both the nations are guided by Bhutan Friendship Act 1949 and it was revised in 2007. In 2014, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited chosen Bhutan as the first foreign destination to visit. If you remember rightly, Bhutan is the only nation which measures country's economic growth in terms of the happiness index. Bhutan currency, Angeltrum 
and is officially pegged to Indian rupee. In 2014, India's trade with Bhutan is almost uh, tripled from 40, 484 million to now the present 1422 million dollars by 21-22. Government of India has constructed around three hydroelectric projects in Bhutan. One is at Chuka, the other one is Kurichu, the other one is Thala. These are the respective installed capacity in Bhutan. Apart from that, India and Bhutan are having discussion regarding establishing a railway link between the Kokrazhar in Assam with the Galapu in Bhutan, Banarhat in West Bengal and Samsi in Bhutan. And even India, I mean from India, Bhutan is also requesting that the finance whatever the, whatever the line of credit and whatever the grants promised by India to Bhutan's 12th and 13th 5 years plan, that money is still pending and Bhutan is requesting that money to be released from India. Regarding the immigration checkpoints between the India and Bhutan, to designate Daranga in Assam as well as Samdrup Jonkar in Bhutan as immigration check post between the Bhutan and Nepal, so that the transit between both nations would be very effect easy. Other announcement includes allocate additional MBBS seats for Bhutan students in medical colleges in Assam and double the outlay of ambassador scholarship for Bhutan students and India Bhutan energy partnership in terms of hydro to non-hydro renewables. So far, we are having good collaboration in terms of the hydroelectricity project. Now, we would like to extend that to non-hydroelectric project as well. Now, the last one, fifth one, Kluchevsky volcano. Recently, this Kluchevsky volcano erupted in Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. First, try to understand where is this Kamchatka Peninsula? It is present near the Bering Sea and the left and the west side of this Sea of Oksos, Okstosk. You can see the Kuril Islands and then Hokkaido. If you go further down Japan, you will you will see. So this Kamchatka Peninsula is one of the peninsula with uh, active volcanoes, high amount of the active volcanoes, and it is also present on the Pacific Ring of Fire. We already discussed in other videos. Pacific Ring of Fire is a place where a lot of volcanic eruptions can be possible because of the tectonic plate boundaries. Recently, this Klitschewski volcano present in Kamchatka Peninsula it got erupted. It is one of the highest active volcano. Height is 4,750 meters. It is a strato volcano. What is this strato volcano means? Strato volcano means the steepness of this particular volcano is very high. Okay, that means the height of the volcano is very high, and the steepness is also this steepness is also very high. So because of this steep, even the mag, this you know like magma produced, I mean magma erupted from this kind of volcanoes are also very thick. It it, it comes down very slowly. Apart from that, the strato volcanoes are relatively steep sides, like we discussed, and they are more cone shaped. Obviously, when it is more steeper, means more cone shaped. They formed from so much of vicious, sticky lava that does not flow together. This is the one, and it is present near the Kamchatka and Kamchatka Peninsula. Now we'll see Kamchatka Peninsula. It is present in far eastern Russia, far eastern Russia, between the Sea of Okhotsk on the west and Pacific Ocean and Bering Sea on the east just now we have seen it is one of the world's most concentrated concentrated areas of geothermal activity around 30 active volcanoes it is present in the area of a ring of Pacific ring of fire so this is about particular this volcanic eruptions now with this we are done with these five topics now let's see yesterday's videos MCQ consider the following statement regarding the Central Information Commission regarding this it is constituted under right to information act as it is a statutory body. Its jurisdiction extends over all central public authorities. That is also right. C. So both one and two is the right answer. Now let's see today's video question. Which one of the following is a national aquatic animal of India? Pick the right answer. I hope it is very easy to you as well. Main question. With the rising pollution levels in Indian cities, India needs a clean air act and an autonomous new body to enforce it. Comment. Comment on this particular thing. Now. As we reach to the end of this video, let us revise what we discussed just briefly. In this particular video, along with the theme of the day, we discussed about following these five topics for today's current issues. So this is about detailed analysis regarding the current issues. Thank you.